Hi friends, welcome back to Dina Grace YouTube channel. Thank you so much for all your likes, shares, subscriptions and views. Today, September 8th is celebrated as World Literacy Day by UNESCO around the world. So what is World Literacy Day and why is it celebrated? What is literacy and what is the literacy rate of uh, the highest country, the lowest country and what is the literacy rate of India of Tamil Nadu and which is the highest and lowest and also what is the theme for the literacy day this year 2020 we're going to see all this in this video so let's get started quickly first thing what is literacy literacy is the ability to read and write so it doesn't matter any language, it doesn't matter that you need to know to read and write only English. Any language as such, when you know to read, write and understand, you are considered a literate. If you don't know, you are considered as an illiterate. This is very simple or we also call as educated, uneducated. Okay, so why is education so important? Why is being literate so important? Because literacy will automatically uh, eradicate poverty so I'm not talking about the least jobs there for every job you need to be literate on something right so the more literate you are you get better job opportunities and you henceforth the country itself gets developed so that's a short thing about the importance of literacy now coming to this theme for this year 2020 what the UNESCO has given is Every year they have a different theme. So this year they have the theme called Literacy, Teaching and Learning in the COVID-19 Crisis and Beyond. So during this pandemic situation, how the teaching and learning is going on and how much importance is given to that. Because around 190 countries around the globe have closed schools during this pandemic which resulted in 1.27 billion youth and children suffered uh, during this period. Thanks to the online schooling, thanks to the virtual learning, distance learning, whatever you call it, which enabled children and everybody to keep on learning, keep the learning going even during this pandemic. Thanks to the educators, thanks to the parents, thanks to the schools, managements, the colleges who are taking great initiatives to make this happen. But still there are a few places where uh, poverty is there and where children can't afford a lot of education. And you can even see some cases in, even in our country where during this crisis since they did not got that some sad news has just occurred. Okay, now moving on to the literacy rate. The literacy rate in India, according to the National Statistical Office (NSO), in the year 2011, about the year about the age seven, the average literacy rate in India was 77.7 percent only. Only 77.7 percent. The remaining all of them do not get education, are not educated. In India, if you see the least stands Andhra Pradesh, which is 66.4%. And the highest, the most literate stands Kerala, 96.2%. Then only comes Delhi. And not even Kerala is 100%, which is the highest in India. When you see which country is 100% literate, number one on the top stands Korea, North Korea. So when I come, I come to the details of Tamil Nadu. In Tamil Nadu, the literacy rate is 80.09%, where the male literacy rate is 867 and the female literacy rate is only 73.14 so 86.77 73.14 and the total literacy rate is just 80.09 percent okay so why i am i sharing all these details with you right now you might even think the reason is 
literacy or learning or education is very 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 essential and when the world grows when everything around us is in a rocket speed everything is developing in a rocket speed it is essential for us to update ourselves upgrade ourselves and learn new things so don't hesitate to learn if you are literate some of you are the first generation literate where uh, you you might have been the only person in your whole generation who is just now started uh, having a degree or something like that or if you are privileged that you have got generations of lit literates you might be lucky enough uh, one thing what matters is money the other thing is also the interest so m when it comes to money there are a lot of poor people who don't have enough education who cannot afford education who are uh, earning to go to school a lot of children who want to go to school but they cannot go to school because of poverty okay so how can we help them and what can we do them is uh, we can just help them with whatever we can so before we help them we need to be sufficient enough to help them so only if you are sufficient enough you can help the others so don't take education don't take your classes don't take anything from any bad bad knowledge pours in uh, lightly okay so knowledge is power skill is power anything that you learn anywhere is going to help you at any time that is the reason most parents spend a lot of money on education why do we spend that okay so that's a different story the money on education but still the reason it's they do that is because they know the value of education so when kerala can stand up to 96.2% um and when north korea can become 100% even india can be 100% from 77.7 to 100 is a long journey but it is possible if we all join together we all join together to make education something very very important and especially the female education even now in our country we don't consider women to be literate even now in many many rural places where women are not expected to be educated but this is important if you want our country to develop if you want our country to be among one of the best so i would say literacy is the best way so each one teach one so if they cannot afford if there are poor people who can't afford education you can learn and you can teach them it does miracles they need a lot of people lot of volunteers who could do that or you can help them with your money or resources that you have so each one teach one let's teach let's educate others and let ourselves let us educate ourselves and give a lot of importance to education and literacy on this note i wind up this video i hope you liked it do like share share makes a maximum and subscribe to the nagas youtube channel let the word go all around take care stay safe keep learning online or offline or anything take care bye so yes dear friends please mention in the comment below what do you think of the literacy rate of our country and the literacy day which is celebrated and how do you think that we can improve that uh don't forget it to like share and subscribe see you again bye